All right, welcome to Midweek Magic. Whoops, let us go back. Um, so I am playing a Grixis Delirium. And the point of the deck is to use Playcrafters Familiar, give Death Touch to Gouge Sell It, attack with Delirium, and Plague Wind your opponent. Um, otherwise, it's just a Demir control deck um, with uh, Splashing Red. Uh, notably, I've made... This deck is uh, originally taken from Endless Number on our Popper Discord. Um, I've made some changes, added 4 Modern Age, added Cram Session, added Mirror Shell Crab for the counter spells. Um, but I mean, it, it's it's just a pretty standard uh, Demir control deck. So let's get into the games. All right, welcome to Midweek Magic. Um, all tap lands, but this looks like a pretty good hand. I have cram session. I have a removal spell. I have a great three drop. So here. I have to lead with the black source, right? Yeah. So I'll lead with these tap lands first. Um, I'm still interested in drawing lands, so I don't think I'll use the fetch quite yet. And look at this. <laughs> this is a uh, rat colony, it looks like. Let's get blue here. But he played a typhoid rats on two instead of a rat colony. Interesting. Yep, you got it. Or it might be mono black control. Oh, look at this. <laughs> it looks like some kind of mono black death touch. So let's just cram session, get environmental sciences, and play a land. Let's get blue here. Into Elderfang Disciple. Okay. Um, that probably helps me, right? Let's just get rid of Modern Age. No, let's get rid of the Cram Session. I want this Cram Session for Pest Control, but uh, it honestly doesn't really matter that much. Oh, I, I mistapped here. Um, I basically have to get a swamp here if I want to double spell. Let's get pest control here. Well, I, I did want double black for pest control anyways, so not the worst. Yep, you got it. Ooh, look at this. Does he have some kind of ninja here? He does. That's really cool. Into another Elder Fang, yep. Alright, gonna get rid of a removal spell then. Um, so yeah, let's just, just play Pest Control here. I could Seagate or Modern Age, but I want to play Pest Control to start making my opponent think about me blocking him. Seagate doesn't really block the 3-2. And then Modern Age would dig me further into the combo, but my opponent's playing black, so black usually has the removal spell, and you have to attack with Gouge Sell It to uh to be able to to be able to wipe your opponent. So if the opponent just kills your sell it, you're you're basically worse off. Unlikely aid. Um, yeah, that's fine. So it looks like my opponent's on combat tricks. Let's kill his 3 2 here. It looks like he has another combat trick, yep. Yeah.
Honestly, do I just play sell it? Man, instant sorcery. Yeah, I, I could just play sell it here. So I don't have the death touch, unfortunately, but killing two of his creatures is still pretty good. And yep, virus beetle. Going to discard the enchantment here, I think. And that's going to get me delirium. So the reason I discard the enchantment here is because I wanted delirium. And that means I had to discard the enchantment or the Seagate Oracle. Um, and I, I want the Seagate Oracle because this one's actually a two for one. Whereas looting from modern age does not get me any card advantage. Um, so here, just going to attack with Zealot. And kill three of my opponent's creatures. <laughs> Who needs Death Touch, right? <laughs> so I've also tried brewing this deck with um, You Are Already Dead. And it's it's alright. <laughs> like it, it functions, but I don't think it's actually that great. Because, like, Gouge Sell It uh, is just a little bit too vulnerable. And then, so, not only do you have to have Delirium, you have to be able to land it and then attack the next turn. Like, oftentimes you're just dead. Um, Relic of Progenitus is a very common sideboard card, and that basically just turns off your Delirium. My opponent's just playing Draft Commons, which, you know, midweek magic, that happens. So here, just gonna Obnixilis Cruelty. And let's end the game soon. Keep adding creatures to our board. Oh, well, there's the Playcrafter, but I'm probably getting rid of it at this point. This kills their next creature, and uh, we're attacking for five. Oh, wow, look at that. We're attacking for four. <laughs> oh. Uh, Alright. Time to get rid of the Playcrafter again. Wandering Death is good. This gets back Seagate and Playcrafter. The attack. Playcrafter on Seagate isn't worse. The bad, uh, isn't that bad. You know. Ooh, Moldrifter. Let's uh let's cast some Moldrifters. I mean what else is Popper about, right? We're getting the GG's from the opponent. Oh, he has the murder for my sell it, but uh it's too late. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> And he concedes. GG's. Alright, we're back with Grixis Delirium. Uh, let's take a look at our hand here. Yep, looks like a looks like a Demir control deck, right? <laughs> so we have our red source here, and then we have blue black. We should be pretty good. We have one removal and then some good three drops. And look at this. This is mono red, it looks like. So let's get black here as well. I could get red. It's probably black. Because um, I want to be able to cast uh, uh, Cram Session and Pest Control. Seven dwarves. Wow, okay. So let us kill. Seven dwarves here. I don't want him to play another one and then um, grow his dwarf to a 3 3 because I want to play. Well, I wanted to play Seagate if we drew an untapped land, but it did not happen. Oh wow. So do I get rid of a mole drifter here? <laughs> I mean, I, I think I have to. Five mana is too much, unfortunately.
And my opponent gets to attack again. Yeah. Oh wow, look at this triple goblin javelin there. So at this point I'm gonna discard my theater. Let's see what we can find here. Yep, there it is. Perfect cram session. Let's uh, choose red here. So this is going to just keep me alive. Um, I could find a sell it and then get delirium, kill all of his 1-1s. One Ooh, look at this. Rimrock Knight. Okay. And... Real Despiter. Interesting. I mean, I think I'm just casting Mole Drifter. Yep, there's our sell it. We can take three from uh, the Javelin Nears because um, we have Cram Session. The, and so Cram Session plus uh, Environmental Sciences represents six life, which is just going to be too much for my mono red opponent here. Yep. It gets two damage in, but you know. My opponent's out of gas after he plays this Rimrock Knight. Honestly, I could even uh, cramp session for uh, for pest control. Um, I do have the combo here, but I'm at six life, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll play it safe. I'll play it safe. Unfortunate, but you know, you have to. You have to survive before you can win. Yep, you got it. So let us play our combo. Play crafter to sell it. And we'll see what my opponent does. <laughs> Okay, so here I will block. Um, this is just gaining three, five life. It doesn't look like he runs removal spells, but he did have Scorching Dragonfire, so. If he has a Dragonfire here for my cell, that's obviously quite bad. But he was top decking. And he would have used it already, so he could attack. And let's get our combo rolling. Delirium, Death Touch, and an Empty Board. That's what we like to see. <laughs> Casting some Mull Drifters is pretty nice too. It's not like the Death Touch actually mattered, because my uh, my opponent's creatures were all X1s, but, um, you know, look at this, we have a second copy. <laughs> and my opponent had the Shock, yeah. Real Death Spitter. Yep, so unfortunately my opponent is not going to be able to interact here until he draws a removal spell. He might have burn, so I, I probably just want to get the most power I can on board. But honestly, I could even Elementalist into Cram Session. So, Elementalist could get back Cram Session, gain another 4 life, and that would basically put me out of reach. But my opponent conceded! GG's. Uh, you know, we got the Death Touch Delirium Dream. I, I think that wraps it up.